Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are trying Burger King's three new burgers. I don't really know the names of them. I know there's one called the spicy one. There's another one with bacon and another one with um, just caramelized onions. It's, well, it's their Whopper Melts. Yeah. It's their Whopper Melts, but then there's like this other thing on the app at least where for $6 for each meal, they have like their own names. Like one's the anti-social one, one is... Uh, the spicy one, I think, is what you said, and then there's like two other ones. But mm -hmm. we got three of them out of the four because the, four, the last one was like the same as the other one. It just came with onion rings instead of uh, regular fries and stuff. Yeah. So we didn't do that. Also, you guys gonna tell the cold sore. So we brought a plate and a knife to cut it in half, so we're not like spreading the germ. Yeah. And we got three <laughs> drinks because there were the meals. So this is crazy. The meal was six dollars. For small, obviously. For the drink, the burger, and Fries. one to two sides. Yeah, one to two sides. The burgers by itself, some of them were like eight dollars, some were nine, depending on like if you got like, maybe like the bacon one or whatever, probably was nine or whatever. So it doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. So I hope I'm hoping this is exactly it and it's not like a small version. We were talking about that. Obviously, it's probably not. But Even if it is a small version, it's still worth it. Yeah, it's still worth it because we don't need that much food, obviously. Yeah. All right. Obviously, the lighting is gonna be as good in this video. I don't think because it's nighttime and we're just trash with lighting. But let's get the food and let's see what it's looking like. Fry number one. All right. So we got fries. Fry number two. Fries. Fry number three. Fry number three. This one smells like the spicy one. Oh yeah, it's spicy. Jalapeno poppers. This goes with the spicy one. Mozzie sticks, the bacon one, and the original. And the original. Perfect. So let's just see what they're looking like. This is the bacon one. Yeah, we got onions on it because she wanted them. Uh, so the things about this is it comes in a different type of bread than like, uh, it's kind of like a toast or like, like a, a sourdough. Texas toast. So you got bacon, onions, cheese, and there's like a sauce, like a special sauce, and uh, the meat, obviously. And it's double patty. Okay, and this is the original one. Yeah, they packed these onions, man. I, I even put light, but no, they didn't do light. And this is the spicy one. This one, the difference with this one's jalapenos to make it spicy, I guess. Oh yeah, let's try the fries. See, I'm a fan of their fries. Me too, usually, but this batch isn't good. Oh, I think it's great. It can be warmer, for sure. Which one should we try first? Original? All right, that's this one, right? I will say though, I wish they toasted the bread a little more. It's like barely toasted. So it's kind of like soft, like super, uh, super soft. Yeah, I feel like these are smaller. They've got to be. But maybe they're not, but yeah, they feel like they're, they're, they're pretty small. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. The sauce is good. Mm-hmm. I think you're missing out without the onion. Mm -mm. Yeah, the sauce is really good. I really, I'm really, I'm really enjoying this actually. I really like the first bite because it was mostly sauce and no meat, but the meat kind of like tones it out. Yeah, I feel like I need more sauce. Mhm. Mm I feel like they didn't put enough on here. Like I want more. Mm. They didn't do the pool, so they don't give me nothing for the mozzi sticks. That's kind of crazy to me. Mhm. Mm mm. Do they even have anything? Mm -mm. So for me, for the regular one, I'd give it like. A seven only because I need more sauce but like the sauce is really good though I really enjoy the sauce that's why I like obviously I, I enjoy it I want more that's why it's not higher is because the sauce was just so good but I didn't get enough of it it also didn't help that I had to take the onions off so I, I kind of scraped off some of the sauce and some of the cheese so that doesn't help but even then I just like it, it could have used more sauce what would you give it I'm gonna give it a six and a half a six and a half because I would give it a seven if it had more sauce because the sauce like makes it and it's very dry at the end I'm like Choking a little bit. Oh, wait, you didn't try your mozzie stick. Oh, yeah. This goes with that meal. So good. I'm good. I feel like I don't. But it's still needs sauce. Well, it's better with sauce for sure. But I feel like you can never go wrong with the mozzie stick. Mhm. Mm it is so good. All right, next up is the bacon one. Got to take the onions off. I literally asked for light. All right, here's my first bite. I don't think I could do this bacon. It's very like flimsy. You can't even bite through it. Now that I think about it, I don't think this is a new sauce. I'm pretty sure they've used this sauce before. You think this is a Whopper sauce? 
I don't know. I don't ever eat Whoppers, but they had something else where I, I feel like they had this sauce. Mm. Yeah, the bacon definitely seems like it could have been cooked a little longer. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the bread though? Like, you like this kind of bun breadish thing? I can't really taste the difference, honestly. It still tastes like I'm eating a regular burger with the same bread. I think maybe because it's not crispy. I'm not talking about the taste, but it feels way different to me. Because, mm. like, the crust and all that. But no, like, taste wise, yeah, it just kind of just tastes like bread. Alright, what are you giving the bacon one? Probably a five. I couldn't even really eat the bacon. It was just so flimsy and you can't really bite through it because either it just bounces back into the sandwich so it just tastes like a regular burger to me yeah for me i think i'd probably give it a five as well the bacon just wasn't it wasn't it again it needed more sauce mm -hmm. the bacon didn't add nothing for me so i would just get the regular one like the first one we had so that's why this one has to go down mm -hmm. it's actually interesting though because i feel like the first one was gonna be the best one Cause I never really like burgers that are spicy really. I'm really hoping it's good. See, I am too, but it just added jalapenos and I don't know, but I guess we'll see. And we got ranch, which is messed up because you guys can see all this food we got. <laughs> and he gave us one ranch. Yeah, he's like, can I get ranch? <laughs> he just hands him one. One ranch for, yeah, they're not the biggest fries, but you got, we got three fries, three burgers. And you got and the- And mozzie sticks and- Poppers. Come on, man. So this one has Seymour sauce. I don't know what it smells like jalapeno but it smells like um spicy lover's pizza so i definitely see more sauce i don't know if it's a spicy sauce they added on, her, on here or if it's the same sauce they just added more of it on this one these jalapenos are spicy are they i took that little bit of bite spicy i don't know. know you're not gonna be able to taste that or that yeah i will no you won't first bite for me Oh yeah, the jalapenos are spicy. Mm -hmm. it, well, you actually have a lot. There's not that much on here. I have two. Oh, well, actually, they're cut up small. There's not that much on mine, and it's there's a decent spice, but there's also just very flavorful. Like there's all you can like as soon as you bite into it, you taste jalapenos. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's in the sauce too. It's gotta be. Great. It's gotta be because it's it's way too flavorful. I feel like it's crazy. Oh, that burnt my mouth. What? Yeah, there's so much flavor. I feel like they like they put the jalapeno juice like on the meat or like like you said in the sauce or something. Mm -hmm. A little ranch vibe. I think it is in the sauce because like I've had no jalapeno left on here. <laughs> that bite was still spicy. It's they're not crazy spicy. I feel like you're making snacks more spicy than it is. That bite was spicy, spicy. But there is a good amount of spice. I, I'm, I, what I'm talking about is for the amount of jalapenos that are on there compared to the amount of spice. Like there's a good amount of spice for the little amount of jalapenos. Same thing with the flavor. So I'm kind of surprised a little bit because I didn't expect much from this one, but I actually enjoyed this one. Mm -hmm. I feel like the jalapenos and the sauce and all that, I think it added to it well to where it actually might be my favorite one. Two. You think so too? I'd probably give it like a seven and a half. I don't think it goes up so much but I think it's a half point better than the original. The biggest thing though, for, okay, see this is how it always is with me because you know I like my food hot. It's getting colder and colder as we go. I feel like if we had a fresh one of those with a good amount of sauce and all that, I think it, ha it has the potential to be like an eight. I feel me. like Burger King though, like when you get your food from Burger King, it's not even hot. It's like lukewarm temperature. Yeah, for sure. But what would you give it though? I'm probably with you at a seven and a half. So, so significantly better. Instead of half a point, it's a full point. Yeah, it's not bad. I liked it a lot better. All right, we got to try the uh, jalapeno poppers. Oh, yeah. I've never had them. I don't think so. So this is, this is going to be my first time trying them. Oh, wait, look at me. Mmm, your jalapenos are chopped up. I didn't expect it to be like this. And so I was biting into it, I was like, wait. I don't think they have whole... Jalapeno. Same with them. I think Carl's does chop too. They all say they're not as spicy though. I feel like the burger was spicier. And yeah, like these have no spice. Yeah, it's like hardly any. I mean, there's some like this one has a little bit, but Carl's Jr.'s is spicy. They're not bad though. All right, so before we go, well, like, do you think it's still a good thing though? Like six bucks? Is this worth it? Like, it's I mean, definitely... it's a, you definitely get a whole meal. But it's small, if, like if, you know, we're sharing, so it's a lot. But if it's just one for one person, a small, you might need a medium, which the medium was not much more. Mm -mm. But it was like still six something. The mediums, I think, are for the size, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. 
Like you're still getting a whole meal for only six dollars. And a little extra, cause for two of them you get like a little extra. Cause normally yeah. a meal doesn't come with these. Exactly. Definitely. And it was definitely worth it, especially the spicy one. So if you enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like. We appreciate that. Subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below if you guys have tried their new, uh, I think they're Whopper Melts. I think I'm pretty sure that's yeah. exactly what it is. Let us know if you've tried it. If you haven't tried it, definitely we suggest trying it. And if you like spice, try the spicy one because that's our favorite one. Also, don't forget to check on the app because I'm pretty sure it's maybe app only to get this deal. $6 for each uh, meal. Because they Can, called it like their reward exclusive. They're like Royal Reward some royal exclusive. Royal Perk. Yeah, something like that. Also, comment down below if you guys know of any other places that are coming out with new stuff in 2022. We definitely want to try it. We don't want to miss out on any of it. Either way, though, my name is Matt. My name is Nicole. This is Oakley. And that was a piece of us.